please can you introduce yourself and uh, tell me about how you managed to get here to Harrow Bangkok. Tell me about yourself and your class first of all. Okay. What are you doing? I teach in the lower school in year one. I'm year group leader as well so as well as overseeing my class um, I oversee three other teachers and the four TAs within the year group as well. Quite a big job. Yes. Quite a big job. And where did you come from to come here? What sort of school was that? And okay. This one? Um, I was at um, a independent prep school in St Albans. Um, there I was head of year as well. Um, I oversaw the English curriculum for the infants at that school as well. Uh, what were your first impressions when you arrived? Do you remember that first day on the bus? What were your first impressions when you arrived through the gate on the bus from the airport of um, Harrow? What did you look like? It was big. It was green. Um, a lovely, a really lovely environment. It's, I, I was very impressed when I arrived. I sort of, you come through the um, the little soys, the little rows to school, and suddenly the gates open up into this massive. Um, massive area and it's, it's beautiful, it's great, there's a lot of space. Lot of I was space. very impressed by the space. Yes, I think actually that's usually what people mm -hmm. say about lots of space. Um, your class, so you're uh, in lower school, what's your class like and the class sizes and sort of how is the teaching? Um, my class are lovely, really really sweet. Um, I've, been, I've been really pleased actually with how quickly they've settled and because obviously it's a big change moving from the EYC building into year one and they've made that transition really well. I've got 18 children in the class. Um, and what, and what about them being a second language? Does that make a lot of difference to your teaching or their English um, is quite good? Their English is quite good. Their understanding is very good. Um, so in terms of that side of things, I've had to slow down the way that I speak and I've had to make sure I... Um, break instructions down a little bit more than I would probably have done back in the UK but I've made that change quite quickly and quite easily and mm. I think as a teacher naturally you um, you learn your class quite quickly and you work out ways that you can help them and so I've never really taught um, many children before that have English as a second language and I've found the change quite an easy change right. to make but it, there is a difference it's there is and you need to be more aware of um, uh, sort of different parts of English. So comprehension is something we've had to put a big focus on in the curriculum because that side of things is probably lacking because of the second language. Because, yes. oh, that's good. So you arrived and you're now living at Harrow on site. Mm -hmm. is that yes, right? I am. Can you tell us a little bit about your house? How it is. The houses are great. Um, considering I'm, I'm living on my own, um, I've come over on my own, I'm living there on my own, I've got more than enough space. Uh, there's two bedrooms, two bathrooms. Um, when you first move in, uh, there's, there's the basic furniture there. You've got your sofa and your um, there's a chest of drawers and a wardrobe and everything that you need. And it just It's a blank canvas to fill with your own pretty bits and pieces that you collect along the way. And there's lots of those in Bangkok. Lots of those in there. Bangkok. And when you first arrived, did you find you had a lot of classroom support as well as sorting out your house support? Did you have a good start? It was a very busy start. Um, I, arrived, um, I arrived just a week before the whole... Well, we arrived... Oh, I can't even remember now it's gone. So we arrived on the Friday... I think it was, was it Friday? Friday. Friday. We had Saturday and Sunday just to do things like go to the Tesco's, pick up a few bits if there was a trip to Ikea if we wanted it. Um, and then on the Monday we were straight into the induction process and we had three days of induction on the school, living in Thailand, that sort of side of things. And then it was Thursday and Friday was inset. So it was very busy, but it was fine because that kept us busy and it kept us going through the jet lag and everything, so actually it was probably better that way than having too much time, but it would have been slightly less stressful I think if we'd had a little bit more time to get the classroom set up, particularly being in lower school, the displays and everything else take quite a lot of time. time so. 
And have you had, good, you obviously busy. have a line manager? Has that has that worked well? If guided you? Absolutely, yes. Um, you always had somebody to turn to. There's more than enough people to turn to. Um, there's obviously in terms of um, you know school stuff. There's the line manager and things, but also there's a lot of other um, teachers who are who understand exactly what it's like to have just started. You know, if they started last year, they, they, they gave you good sort of hints and tips on things to kind of oh, help great. you to, to settle in and things, which was great. There was, but school-wise, yeah, um, my line manager's been super. Okay. Um, and so you live on campus, and what things on the campus can you use for yourself when you're not at school? Like, are you allowed to use the swimming pool or...? Yeah, um, so there's the swimming pool, which um, I think once activities finish at five, um, is available most evenings for staff and, and staff children to use. Um, there's also the tennis courts. On a Tuesday, there's been um, sort of tennis lessons for staff as well after hours. Um, there's the badminton um, courts, which I know some people have been using. And there's a gym. Oh, there's all sorts going on. There's plenty to keep you going if that's what you want yeah. to do after yeah. work. And have if you've got the energy? Lots of friends on site. Everybody's been friendly, or you don't really know your neighbours. No, um, I'm. I, I. This is what I, I. It was one of my concerns starting coming over here on my own. Um, would I meet people? Would I make friends? And I've been incredibly lucky with the group of people that I moved over with because there's a lot of other people that have come over on their own. There are couples, there are families as well. Um, but it has been really good having those other single people that I've been able to spend time with. To link up with. To link up with. And yeah. everyone who, coming over, who, is, who is coming over here is sort of of the same frame of mind. And it's great to have people that you know will want to go off and do stuff at the weekend as well. And... Be, be active and busy people. So, yeah. so what, what sort of things maybe do you do in the evening on a work day? Um, there's lots of just local little restaurants nearby, so for dinner we can easily go and get um, local Thai food for a pound, two pounds for a really nice local meal, which is great. Um, there's also a new gym that's just opened in IT Square, which is about 15 minutes away where they do body pump classes, body combat classes. So a group of us has joined that recently. So we've been going to the gym and doing classes oh, and stuff. And uh, you said that you, the groups have you often go off at weekends. How far have you got? So you've only been here for how long? I was trying to work this out. One nine term. Nine yeah. weeks, ten nine weeks. weeks. <laughs> so have you actually got out of Harrow and done anything at the weekends? And yes. what is there to do in Bangkok? Um, so the furthest I've been is Kosamet which is um, it's about three hours, four hours with traffic um, down the coast to a port and then you get a speedboat across to the island, which is great fun, that was a brilliant weekend. Um, so we went to Coast Met for the weekend, but if you don't want to go that far, um, you quite often will book a hotel in Bangkok and we'll go and spend the day shopping or sightseeing in Bangkok and then go out for dinner and drinks and things in the evening and then go back and stay in a hotel because then you've got the nice pool on the next day and stuff so how, how are you finding it money wise are these sort of things quite affordable yeah they are very affordable um because we we hardly spend anything during the week monday to friday uh we really don't spend very much money at all it means that at the weekends we we can sort of treat ourselves a little bit more um the hotels are a lot cheaper than they are in england and you get some beautiful hotels. Beautiful hotels. Beautiful hotels. And do you think if a teacher was coming out here, would they be able to save money if they wanted to? Oh, definitely. And um, I found as well that um, it, it's not the easiest thing in the world to transfer money back to the UK. Uh, you, but once you've filled in a form, you have to kind of, on a monthly, bi-monthly, however often you want to send money home, you have to fill in a form and then, but the HR department are great and they're very helpful at sorting it out for you. So you can definitely save money. Um, in Thailand it's really cheap to hire somebody like a driver or a maid to join yourself or if you had a family. Have you got a maid or a driver? I have, I've got a maid who comes two mornings a week. Um, 
she's great, she does all of my washing for me, she changes the bedding, she cleans the bathroom, the kitchen, any, How can she, you live without any washing up that I might have left on the side gets miraculously done, so no, she's great. That's really great. Uh, can you just tell me about the process of how you got the job? Like, where did you see it and then what was the process? Um, so I saw it advertised um, on the TES website, then I interviewed, I applied and it went through um, TIC which is an agency. Um, they organised the interview for me and then I went to interview at Harrow in London, Harrow on the Hill. Um, it was a pretty full-on interview. We had a group interview to start with, and then we had an English test and a maths test, um, and then in the afternoon it was one-to-one -one interviews. Oh, quite a full day. So it was a full day. We well, must have passed English and maths then. <laughs> I don't know. Um, in what word or what sentence, how would you describe Harrow Bangkok? Um, one word. <clears throat> Oh, that's a tricky question. Busy. Busy, yeah. Very so busy. busy. Um, but very rewarding as well in many ways. I find that the, 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 children are, are, the children are very rewarding to teach. They are, my class, I can't speak for obviously the entire school, but my class are absolutely lovely and it's great to see, um, to see the progress that they make. And it is very rewarding. Yeah, it's great. they make progress very quickly. They yeah. do. Um, from teaching in the UK to here, do you have good equipment here compared to the UK? Do you, are you lacking things or is it pretty similar? You've got the it's pretty, resources, I think is the right word. It's pretty similar. Um, obviously there are things that would be very easy to get in England through Baker Ross or through one of the other big catalogues that you just, you, you, even though you have got access to those catalogues here, there's obviously additional shipping time and fees and things so anything that I am lacking wouldn't necessarily be due to the school being unable to provide it it's just the kind of the logistics of things can sometimes be a bit tricky but anything that I have asked for we you know we've we've found a way to try and try and get it might not be quite the same as in England you can go to Central World and get paints for art and things mm. like that it is a bit trickier to get tell things. me a bit about the shopping in this area and in Bangkok, like when I first came, you couldn't get Marmite, and everybody used to bring Marmite. Is there everything here that you need? I believe. For yourself, I believe you? there is. I myself. I mean, I know there's a supermarket called Avenue, which is it Avenue. Yes, yeah, which I have Villa, Villa, which I haven't been to yet, um, because I've found that everything I've needed, I've been able to get at Foodland, which is um, a supermarket about 15 minutes away. Um, really easy to get there, but it doesn't have everything. It doesn't stock Marmite and things like that, or or certain English products. But I know that Villa does have everything you could possibly want. I think mm. is what I've heard from other people. Yeah, it used to be a few things that you couldn't get, but I think now that everything's here. I think yeah, I think everything's here if you look for it. Yes, sometimes it might be a bit hidden, but yeah, you'll find okay. a way. <laughs> okay, so my last question. A few positives and a few challenges that you've had while you've arrived since you've um, arrived. Positives, lots of positives. Uh, the lifestyles, the lifestyle is is fantastic. It's great to be able to go and do brilliant things at the weekend, to be able to go and explore. And um, I've not, because I've been here ten weeks and not seen anywhere near as much as I'm going to see and I'm going mm. to do. There's lots planned. Um, the children are fantastic to work with. Um, I have my own TA, which in the UK I haven't had my own T TA before, so I've got my own personal TA for the class, which is really good. Um, but negatives, it is busy, it is tiring. Um, and hot, how are you it's with hot. the weather? Um, I've been quite lucky with the weather, I think. I love the heat and I've, I've adapted quite well. It is really hot, and the rain. We've had some pretty impressive rain lately. Um, which can cause flooding and cause um, that's a challenge power like cuts <laughs> um, and things like that. But that seems to have cleared now, so I think the weather's getting better. Um, there's lots of mosquitoes. I have found mosquitoes have been a thing, mm -hmm. but then again, I probably haven't put as much insect repellent on as I maybe should have done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, 
Yeah. So generally, generally, I yeah, I'm I'm having a fantastic time. I'm I'm really pleased I made the decision to come. And any any advice you'd give to anybody who's just applied? Get ready for this um, interview. Get ready for the interview. Um, and be prepared for some hard work. It's not easy. It's not a walk in the park. But that's because it is. Harrow Bangkok is basically a British school with British standards, British expectations, but in Bangkok. So it's it's not sort of the um, the stereotypical independent school where perhaps standards aren't quite as rigorous. Here they are very high. But that's good, we get good results and the children do well from it, so it's good. Thank you.